All right, a few quick things before we get started properly here. Uh, this week is going to be weird. So today's stream is going to be normal, as is Friday's stream. However, since Wednesday is Halloween and I will not be able to stream on Halloween, uh, the Halloween stream that I might have done is off the table. Some things cleared up in my schedule, so I will be taking Halloween off. And that would have meant moving the Wednesday stream to Tuesday, just so that I could do it. And that would have been fine, except Apple decided, hey, guess what? We have an event at 7 a.m. your time. And as Apple is one of the few companies that I actually keep up with, for no particular reason, um, I've decided that I will be reacting to that. So, yeah. That's going to be an early stream for me tomorrow. And since I'm insane and in the Halloween spirit, the Tuesday stream that would have been the Wednesday stream will also be on. So I will be live twice in one day. Exciting, I know. Again, I don't think I'll be doing anything on Halloween. I might? I don't know. My original plan wouldn't necessarily have been dependent on me having my setup here. Because it would have just been a video. But since I got lazy this year, I don't have that as an option. So, don't expect anything on Halloween. But tomorrow is going to be a bit of a busy day, and then Wednesday, Thursday are off, and then Friday is going to be more Pokemon Leaf Green. So that's the week that we're looking at thus far. Things are always subject to change. Like, I might be able to squeeze in a stream on Wednesday. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, I think that's enough stalling. Previously on Pokemon Leaf Green, we arrived in... Uh, or we dealt with some rockets. We freed up the uh, Lavender Tower. We caught ourselves a fi our final party member. And we are now here in Fuchsia City. So, with that... Welcome back to Pokemon Only Green, eventually. It'll show up. Also, wow, that game audio is way too loud. Let me turn that down. Sorry about that. I was recording a thing earlier, like, uh, after the stream... Well, no. I didn't stream yesterday. I was doing a thing with the GameCube, so yeah. Anyways, on the docket today, if you couldn't tell from the stream title, is we're going to head back on Cycling Road with Vex. Now that we have Vex, we need to level her up. Also, we somehow got a perfectly even gender distribution on my team, and I'm totally cool with that. Also, I checked this after the stream. We have Water Absorb. That is so much better than the other ability we could have had, which would have just negated explosions. Water Absorb is actually viable because it changes water into HP. And that means we can rock, sur uh, we can rock Surf on someone else. Yeah, it has a gun, Sorua. But yeah, if we rock Surf on someone else and get into a double battle, then uh, we don't have to worry about Vex taking damage. At least, I think Surf hits everyone in this gen. That might just be a Gen 4 thing. Like, Gen 4 onward. Uh, yeah, Bubble and Hypnosis, this... Vex needs some work. So yeah, we're gonna head back up Cycling Road, as well as fighting the trainers here. 
that I didn't fight to hopefully get Vex up to a decent level. And then we'll be going through Safari Zone as well. Uh, I think Dragon 4 can handle this. Is my on-screen chat box not working? Ah, nice. Yes, it is. Good. Alright, let's send in Bard this time. We got ourselves a new move. At least, I hope I remembered to... Yeah, I did. I totally did. Psychic! Look at that. Vex to level 11. Level 12. dude only has a bunch of Spiros. Granted, they're at level 26, so Vex is not going to be able to deal with them. But still, pretty much everyone else on our team can. level 13. And finally learned Water Gun. That's just rude. Ah, that's good. I was working on a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, before the stream started. So, that was interesting. Uh oh. Uh, well. <laughs> I didn't count on that. Now then, I think I have a revive. I do not. Rip. That was an incredible play.
Alright, let's go heal, shall we? I was not expecting that pursuit. I feel outplayed. The try attack animation in this game is really good, and also, wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Don't get the five. Good. I just realized this thing is level 34. Don't have pursuit. Good. I was not paying attention to this thing's level. Just blast it with Psychic, please. Fix to level 14. Should I go after Safari Zone now, or should I wait till after I'm done going back through Cycling Road and fighting all the trainers? Because I kind of want to get Safari Zone done and over with right now. Um... Not sure. I was originally going to catch Dratini there, but I got that from the uh, game corner. As far as it sounds cool? Nice. Alright. Let's get the book out, because it actually has a route you can take through the Safari Zone. Sounds real nice on the mic. Throw a safari ball and see what happens. Alright then. I think that's gonna be my policy through here. Whatever I find, I'm gonna throw a safari ball at it and see if it works.
No. We do need, I want to say, 50. 50 registered in the Pokedex. Alright, and then we're going to head up. Down here. Alright. Hopefully we'll be able to get through this. But I don't want to find the solar store. Nope, we don't need more eggs. Okay. No way. Really? Kankaskan was that easy? Alright. I'm not gonna complain. to head up here. And then up. I mean, I guess. I do need to have as many entries as possible. Nope. TM-47 Stealing. More eggs. A protein. Cool. Alright, now just down through this patch of grass here. Down the sandbar, down here. Down here to grab the gold teeth. I mean, at least in this game, you're not limited to just 20 items total. TM32 double team. And do I have enough steps? I do. Awesome. HMO3. Easy peasy. Now it's time to go run back and find more grass. More eggs. Take two. I just said I don't need any more eggs. Oh, 
Ooh, a Rhyhorn. That's pretty cool. And totally free. Okay. <laughs> what is this luck? First Kangaskhan, and now Rhyhorn. This is just insane. At this rate, I'm going to find a shiny in here. And it's going to be eggs. I just know it. Missed my chance at you on Mount Moon, so I might as well. Nope. Alright, do you want to stay in the ball this time or no? Nah? Hey, look at that. It stayed in the ball. Cool. Uh, let's fish. Assuming we still have steps. Oh, we only have 37 steps left. I have good rod on select, so let's do it. Let's go ahead and register the super rod and use that instead. Seeking. Another Sea King. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to say that was actually pretty productive. This is not the Warden's house. That's the warden's house. Wait, no, I think I was just in there.
Here it is. HMO4. Cool. So now we can teach strength to someone, as well as surf. Both Vex and Dragon 4 are able to learn surf. I think it would help Vex the most, though. Yay. Uh, Sedge is the only one that can learn strength. Well, that tackle. Here, learn how to slam your face into something better. Found a rare candy. That's handy. In fact, it's so handy, I'm gonna mark the page, flip through, and see when the one polywhirl. Yeah, when polywhirl. 25. Okay. Cool. So we have to get uh, Vex up to level 25. Or level 22 and then our candy. And I don't think there's anything that useful that it gets in the way of moves. Ah, yes! The riveting Gen 1 bike speed when you're going up Cycling Road. can take this. Well, that's inconvenient. Yeah. Vex could level 15. Awesome. Alright. For the wheezing, I think we're gonna send in Bard. I think I said this last time, but I just wanted to make sure. Uh, there's nothing in the book about Cycling Road. Like, it acknowledges the existence west of Fuchsia, but beyond that, there's nothing there. I mean, I guess you never have to visit Cycling Road. You do have to visit the area north of it, but... You never, you never have to visit the road itself.
Ah, oh, come on. Oh, come on. I hate smoke screen. It's so annoying. Take it down. So now that we're at about the halfway point of the series, I've been thinking about what I want to do after this. And I'm kind of thinking... Another Wind Waker Rando Seed? Maybe? I had a lot of fun with Wind Waker Randomized, and I also bumped my desk. Sorry about that. I had a lot of fun with Wind Waker. Uh, can you do randos on mobile? Uh, how it works is it creates a randomized ROM. So if your phone can uh, play GameCube games, then you can play randos just fine. I think the utility does require a PC and an actual Wind Waker ROM, but beyond that, if you have a way of getting um, GameCube stuff running on your phone, then there shouldn't be anything stopping you from playing a randomizer. Uh, do I want Double Slap? I don't really want Double Slap. But yeah, I encourage everyone to give it a try. It's a lot of fun and gives you a lot of ways you can um, experiment. Like it deepens your understanding of where items are placed and stuff like that.
Um, I think I'm gonna spend a turn since I don't think this Menki can KO me. I'm gonna spend this turn uh, using this Hyper Potion on Dragon 4. Okay. Go for another super potion. And there we go. Champ, ooh. This is gonna be some good EXP. But it's not something I'm gonna risk Dragon 4 over. I'm just gonna have Bard Psychic this thing. Ooh, that did quite a bit. Not enough for me to be really concerned, but still. Level 20! Awesome. Uh, with Surf, we're gonna let Vex try this. It's six levels higher, but we're faster than it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's no, we're we're not we're not doing that. Battle of set damage. Oh man. Dragon 4, crit level 33. Yeah, let's heal up everyone. At least a little bit. There we go. Alright, back up we go. Oh, I must have already fought that guy. There's no getting rich quick in battling. Uh, I beg to differ. Yep, almost. We're gonna let Sedge take this guy out, because it's been a while since we've seen Sedge.
We're gonna end this Menke with Leech Seed. Just because. Primeape, though. Well, Bard. Just blast it with Psychic. Nice and easy. Vex grid level 21. We're going to go for Bard. For the coughing, though, I think Dragon Four can take it. Critical hit. Well done, Dragon Four. For evolved Pokemon, I feel like we should pay more attention to uh, type advantage. Extra level 22. I feel like Turbid needs some more action. Magnitude 7. Not bad. Uh, this could hurt. And that's probably why Turbid needs more action.
Uh, this might not be great for Bard. No worries, it's all good. That's what I was afraid of. Well, uh, Dragon Four, can you take this? I mean, probably, but it could be close. Yeah, there's the poison. Ah, shed skin. Give it a twister and done. And yeah, Vexter level 23. Oh, that thing could have exploded, couldn't it have? Man, I lucked out then. Yeah, Shedskin has saved me on multiple occasions. I do have ways of getting rid of poison, but still. Level 24. And level 25. And let's learn Rain Dance. Um, I'm not really doing a weather team, and I don't think I have... Well... No. No. I don't think I'll be going for Thunder on Dragonite. And Vex is evolving. Is it not majestic? Vex evolved into Poliwhirl. Plus side, with the development of arms and legs, it also developed proper a proper uh, respiratory system. Downside, it doesn't have a mouth anymore. It's still screaming though. Yeah. And I don't think I'm waiting for any moves, so... I think we can go straight to Polyrath. Yeah, let me check and see if Poliwhirl actually gets any decent moves that I would want that Polyrath doesn't. Uh, Hydro Pump at level 51, but I've already got Surf. Belly Drum at 43. Belly Drum Submission is really powerful, but I'm not sure I actually want that. Hmm. I don't know. Plus, Belly Drum is at level 43. We're nowhere near that yet. See, I think after this fight, I'm going to just use the water stone on it again. Did you seriously get the five on the Fury Swipes? That's so rude.
Uh, let's give Poliwhirl a try. Okay. Look at that! Vex is actually able to take out stuff on its own. I'm so proud. Alright, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I want to go for submission, belly drum. So, we're just gonna go ahead and use the water stone right now. What Vex is evolving? He's done screaming. So I guess that means that the final drawing is going to be Dragonite, which makes sense. I do want to train up Vex a bit. As Vex and Turbid are going to be uh, essential for the uh, Cinnabar Gym. screwed over 26. I'm gonna go for hypnosis. Ah, oh, man. Yes, good. Stay asleep. Oh. Oh. Okay. Man, look at all that EXP. No, I, I don't have a Pikachu, sir.
You said come out and play Little Mouse, but I don't have any mice on my team. I've got a frog. It's kind of mad, though. Critical hit, nice. Vex grew to level 27. No, dude, you got beaten by a frog. It's not that hard of a concept. Alright, back here in Celadon, we're gonna go heal because we need to. I should probably also stock up on some revives at the department store. As well as sell the selling items that we have. Wait, is this Lotto ID? No. No, that's TMs. Here we go. I can buy 50! Uh, no. We're not gonna buy 50 revives. We're gonna buy 15. Yo, stay hydrated, bot! Thank you for reminding me to drink water, even though my water cup is empty. Alright, so physical attack, I think that's gonna go on Turbid. Yeah. Speaking of... Uh, you don't get TM26 till after... Yeah, you don't get that till after the 8th gym badge. Uh, it's not that far away. some loud car outside. If 
back to fighting these guys. Only this time with Turbid and um, Bard actually, you know, conscious. <laughs> ah, beautiful. I'm about to use coughing, no problem. Why would you want my bike? You have a bike of your own. This guy is confused. Oh boy. Well, I survived with one HP. You know what? We're gonna drop the floor store. Because I should have healed earlier, but I didn't. Level 28. Mustang is like way in the back. It is. All right, we're going to want TM thirty. Which, unfortunately, is back at the Selenol Game Corner. Alright, so I fought all six of you. And since we don't have a flying Pokemon, I'm just going to do that now. be over here maybe yeah 4500 coins okay Hmm. 
Okay. That's not actually a problem that I can't afford it just yet. I just need another 20,000. No. 40,000? Yeah. I just need a little more money. So, the gym earnings. Let's find everyone there. So we need to head down here. Oh dear, this guy has a full torb. Well, that's fine. Because you're going to attack me with an electric type attack. No, you're going to hit me with Sonic Boom instead. Cool. I think in this instance, I feel better doing, like, not a random amount of damage, but a set amount. So, yeah. Terrible, you're to level 30. Uh, I'm gonna say no. We're just gonna have Turbid do this. Five. There we go. Magnitude nine. That's more like it. I guess this dude has some kind of Nidorino. Oh no, Macho. Okay. 33? Hmm. Oh man. This Macho is reminding me of the ultimate troll from Gen 4. Where you trade um, a macho for a haunter in um, Snowpoint City, and the the haunter you get is holding an Everstone. It's so bad. Speaking of so bad, this fight. I think I could survive another fight I'll throw. But can I survive a revenge? The answer is no. I can only take one more of those. sure that everything's all fine. There we go. I am! I'm going up cycling road! Oh, 
I'm so close to this thing in terms of level that I think I'm just going to have Vex deal with it. It's not a polywag anymore. I think it's time for Vex to take a stand. Beautiful, level 29. That dude's a Machoke. It's also level 29. I've only got four Surfs left. Okay. Good. I'm faster than it, so we're all fine. Everything's okay. Welcome back, Sorwa. decided that uh, before we get to the uh, Saffron Gym that I would have TM30, which you get from uh, the game corner. So, yeah. Beyond that, um, Turbid grew to level 30, Vex grew to level 29, and that's about it, really. Uh, TM30 is Shadow Ball. I figure, since we're probably going to have Bard out, so that we're not taking all kinds of super effective damage, um, having a Ghost-type attack on Bard would be beneficial. Even though I think think Ghost is physical in this game? I'm not entirely sure. Alright. Um, actually, that's a... Here's the question. Do I want Turbid up front to get any XP, or Vex? Or Quoxy. I think we're going to have Turbid up front. And we might give it a try? Magnitude 6. Um, yeah, that's not going to do a whole ton. That was a critical, too. Oh, that's fine. If it's not going to attack me, then I don't have to worry. Magnitude 10? Magnitude 8! Okay, this is getting a little scary, but I outspeed you, so all I have to do is get a good magnitude, like eight, and that's that.
Also, why is it being weird? So I might want to get that Shadow Ball sooner rather than later. If I go for the Dig, I can guarantee a decently powerful attack. Seven. Man, that cadaver was frail. Turbid girl with 31. I mean, cadaver is usually pretty frail, though. Oh, no, it is. Um... Huh. That's weird. Uh, hello? What is my computer doing right now? Yeah, no, that's super weird. Um... Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to stop the stream and then come back. We're gonna see if that fixes 